Hello my friends, and welcome back to a continue buying Let's Play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Remastered for the PS5. My name is The Flightless Player, this is your Gaming Channel, and today we resume the final case of game number four. And there's a lot of answers that we've gotten. But at the same time, there's still a lot of questions to be answered. I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we begin in Solitary Cell 13. Present day. This is going to be talked to Gavin. Uh, not Gavin. Kristoff, right? Present day Central Prison, Solitary Cell 13. Yep. Well, he's got a really nice digs here. I don't know why he deserves all this. Well, well, this isn't an unexpected surprise. What Aren brings you down to my clip could finds Gavin. Gavin, yeah, Crystal Gavin. Gavin Crystal, whatever. Is this your idea of revenge, Phoenix Wright? Revenge for the events that took away your attorney's badge seven years ago. My past is like my logic, straight and true. Nothing's changed. All I did was point the finger of justice in the proper direction. So that means that Kristoff is the one who sent the, um... Kristoff is the one that sent the page? Because he clearly said... I, I missed this the first time, but I clearly see it here. Revenge for the events that took away your attorney's badge seven years ago. So he was involved in that case, but he hasn't been involved in that case at all, which means that he was the one who gave the stamp. He's the one that had the counterfeit page made. He's the one that sabotaged Phoenix Wright. The question is, why did he do it? Fine. I'm glad we could have this little tet to tet bite. You look well, Phoenix Fight. You too, Gavin. Let's talk to him first, then we'll show evidence. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean... I forgot, normally I examine, don't I? Nice roses. You take care of this one here. Ah, yes, she's surprisingly delicate, you know. Vakaya is careful tending, but she is my best friend, as they say. Best? Come on, now I'm starting to feel bad for you. Oh, of course. She's known to bite if handled roughly. Your rose bites? <sighs> I was speaking of the photo next to the rose. My vetiva van girl. Cute but feisty. Every dog has a thorn. That envelope's been bothering me since I came in here. It's not nice to pick at other people's mail. You get mail in here in jail? That I do, that they read it first, apparently. Still, I am allowed the pleasure of correspondence. Packages and the bike are a different matter, however. Hmm, looks like Secret of Peek is out of the question. It's strange, you know. Here I am, it's solitary, and yet the books keep piling up. Looks like you got more than books up there. Ah, uh, yes, my collection. I have a few friends on the prison staff. They show me a little kindness. Just a little? Yeah, I know, there's a lot more than a little here. Is that a birdie? I, I didn't mean to click on your books, I meant to click on the bird. That's some chair. Oh, apparently I need to click on the chair. Just looking at it makes me want to take a seat. You probably had to add a whole digit to the price of one of my office chairs. In here, a comfortable chair is the most valuable thing in the world. You'd have to add two digits to the price of the standard prison issue chair for this. Those prison chairs don't look so bad either. Maybe I should redecorate. music too. 
What do you think about this, Gavin? I hardly need to remind you that I am not a free man. I care little about the outside world, save advances in child technology. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No information forthcoming there, I guess. Fortunately, holding down circle doesn't skip ahead the animations. So, although I could get through this at a much faster click than I normally can, his uh, head swivel there makes it a little bit more difficult. But we'll get there. There's a lot happening in this case. It it's amazing how this case has sort of encompassed all the other cases. I really like that storytelling. I, I like the storytelling where there's connectivity. Like, I've been binge watching my favorite uh, sci-fi show a lot lately, uh, Babylon 5. And one of the things I love about Babylon 5 is that the majority of the episodes are connected in some way to each other. And I like that. Unlike, you know, something like Star Trek. Star Trek is awesome, don't get me wrong. But what happens in one episode doesn't necessarily affect the next episode. And because of that, you know, you don't need to really watch them in any specific order. But with Babylon 5, you kind of have to. Especially once you get to, you know, really like the middle of season 3 or so. And then from season 3 all the way through season 4, it's like every single episode is mandatory viewing to see every other thing that happens. And I love that. Gavin's murder. Life has full been full of surprises for both of us. Huh? I have no doubt you never expected to lose that attorney's badge of yours. And I'll bet you never expected to wind up here. Shady Smith was the man was the name of the man you killed. Did you know who he really was? Who he was? Zach Grammary, you know, the defendant. Hmm. I remember him, a cause. Look at that smug look. He definitely knows who we're talking about. But you say Smith was Zark? Impossible. Don't even try to tell me it was a coincidence. But did I just say? Life is full of surprises, don't you think? After that trial, you were arrested and found guilty. But your motive was never made clear. A mistake I plan to remedy. You're not an attorney anymore, Phoenix Veidt. What possible conclusion do you think this investigation of yours can lead to? I killed a man named Smith with a bottle because I am an evil human being. Nope, I don't believe that. Well, I do believe you're evil, but I don't believe that. Isn't that enough? Not for me, it isn't. I need to know why you did it, Gavin. Seven-year-old case. You recall that case seven years ago? Ah, yes, the tire where Zach Remaviv pulled his famous vanishing act. My brother won his fair share of praise and adoration for that tire as a recall. Genius prosecutor reveals crooked attorney, was it? That was when I met you, wasn't it? Was it now? The Bar Association Review Board voted unanimously for the strictest of punishments. Unanimous, save for one dissenting opinion. Yours. Huh. It was my brother who was responsible for putting you in that position at the R. For seven years, we've been friends. And yet, I still don't understand you. But right, your friendship for me was ever pure. You suspected me then, as you still do now, don't you? Honestly, right now, I'm not sure what I think. Reason for murder. You didn't just brain a guy with a juice bottle for no reason. Tell me why you did it. Persistent, aren't you? I came here because I remembered something. The night of our game. Zach Grammary mentioned your name, Gavin. Really? Ah, that reminds me. I saw a familiar face as I entered this restaurant. He did not seem to notice me, however. Huh? Gavin. I believe it was his name. Right, okay. 
After that, he was killed, and I asked you to help me. Because I remembered your kindness back when everyone had turned on me. I seem to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that. Dead. Someone hit him. Hard. Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that. I have to know. Why did you kill Shady Smith? No! Zach Grammary. Hmm. There's that lock. How many locks? Seven? Ah! I was close. Whoa! I've never seen psych locks like these. Dark. Cold. Full of despair. Nice. It's a lot. Can I even unlock these things? Something wrong, right? No, it's nothing. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Life is to be taken easy, you know. That's... Vera's thing. He's doing his nails. But Vera did that. Huh. Right, I'm gonna end my inquiry here. Where do I go? I mean, do I go back in time? To here? Or maybe to here? I don't know if I have his wife's identity yet, though. I don't think I can do this one yet. I mean, I could try breaking his locks. It wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, right? Wait, I... I can't? I literally can't. I, I don't have an option for it. Yeah, I don't have an option to try to break that. So... I only have three places I can go. I can either go... to Vera, right? I go to Valance, or I go to Shady. <laughs> okay, uh, let's... Let us... Let us go to the Borscht Bowl Club first. And let me try to go through this again. And try to see what evidence I need. If I press the right buttons. I know why you don't want to talk about her. Was it the stamp? Take that! Or was the stamp? And then... Then it was Apollo. And then...
more of a ring. So I, that's the one where I need, like, the necklace, right? Or the, the bracelet? But I don't have the bracelet as evidence. Well, I have a couple things to try, and I can load the game. Let me try... Just will tell you they're going to pre produce a dove and take off their hat. So I wonder if I wonder if that's the evidence I show him last. But like I said, I think you're supposed to have the bracelet here, and I don't have the bracelet. But I'm willing to try a few things. Even though I believe I know what you're supposed to do, I don't have that thing that I need. So if I don't have that thing that I need, then... Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going anywhere on this. Let me go back and load. So the, the good news though is, I believe I have eliminated Shady from my list of who I need to talk to next. That means it's either gotta be Valent or her. And I think it's best to probably start with her. This your good luck charm. But I already showed her everything for good luck charm, didn't I? Yeah, I already showed her everything now. I don't have a good luck charm. Take that. And I know these are incorrect, but. I just want to try. And the reason I just want to try is because when you get stuck, as I am, I have a theory. And the theory is try everything. And when everything doesn't work, well then... I wonder if it's something I missed in like a background or something. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I think we try the stage piss already. Yeah. And then, I mean, nothing else is gonna matter. Which means we had to talk to Valent. Because I don't know of any other thing to do except talk to balance. But we don't have evidence, I believe, that we're supposed to have to talk to balance. So, where. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ah, I didn't mean to do that! Press one button. Forgot to press triangle. Should have pressed triangle, not X. Yes, 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 I got this. Um, wrong one.
All right. Um. Check out his sleep. I'm trying to think of what to do because I feel like every single person I talk to, I'm missing something. Uh, proof of danger. That was the gun. And then. It's her. I hit the wrong thing. This shows who it was. Awesome. What about that? Zach Grammy's right. Wife and Tracy's mother. The Lassa, I believe, was her name. Ah! Alakazard! Yeah, I think we've done this one. Um, it's just I didn't save it before. And this clearly just shows how much danger she was in. How much danger she was in. How much danger she was in? It's not. It doesn't show danger. Is it the gun again? Okay, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I figured it wasn't, it wasn't this, but I mean, what else am I supposed to? So I'm with the way she started. She stood in between them. Hey, I think that worked. True Grimory's performances were very, very popular. So popular they even made a commemorative stamp at the height of your fame. We were not merely the latest craze. We were an age, a golden age. It's all here on this stamp. There's the lassa, yes? Erk! Tristan's mother is missing, I hear. What happened to her? I... I don't know! Okay, there's no lock. Part of his memory is still locked up. There is one thing I'm failing to address. What's that? As you say, our troop was a world unto itself. If our leader, Magnify, was so inclined, he could have anything he wished with these. But Mr. Wright, then you would have hit a crime, making him an accomplice. Not great foundation for blackmail. I think I've seen this one. Okay, I, I, I have seen this one. My bad. I got stuck on that previous one, but I've seen this one. Found the right address. About how the last's death would affect them. How can you possibly prove what I already have? I'll prove why the last's accidents tied your hands so completely. Um, this is why I got stuck last time. I believe I did evidence before. And I think I did person. Let me do person. It's going to take a little knowledge of the players to crack this one. Accidental death is Zach's wife type both of your hands. And this information proves why Z Magnify held so much power over you. Chrissy's father. 
Wait, 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 wait
I had to protect Trissy from the darkness. The reporter he mentioned, the newsman, I never learned who that was at the time. Though I've got a pretty good idea of who it is now. That smile and the sickly su sweet smell of mint. The last lost thin thread connect exact grammary to this world. Sooner or later, I'd have to track him down. Please tell me something new unlocked. Please tell me something new unlocked. Please tell me something- Yes! Good. Oh, thank you, Lord. New clues to uncover. Present day, Drew Studio. Huh? Whoa, 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 what do we have here? Remember me? Of course, I remember you. Jealous meets ex-attorney in bar, end quote. Can I ask what you're doing here? Mr. Misham was poisoned and his daughters. Oh yes, I know, oh I know, yes. It's caused me no end of grief, to be honest. Journalist wishes he'd track down case just a little quicker, end quote. Were you on the trail of the case the whole time? Zach Grimmery was a good friend. Zach said something to that effect back at the Bush Bowl Club. What a character, what a man. If a little, no, a lot, no, extremely rough around the edges. Do you think I could ask you a few questions? Oh, you serious? I mean, I'm using the interviewer, not the interviewee. Journalists ask questions that other way around, end quote. Uh, fine, shoot, I don't care. People have been asking me all sorts of things lately. Alright, well, let's look around first. The door outside. Vera might come walking in at any moment if she wasn't in intensive care. Will she ever come through that door again, I wonder? I just want to know how she got poisoned still. Those three paintings. All Drew's works, of course. Which is to say, Ferris works, really? Or to be more precise, Ferris forgeries as someone else's works. Of course, if you demand utter and total precision. Ah, actually, there's nothing more. I was about to say. <laughs> this is where Mr. Misham fell. Never thought our seven year reunion would be quite like this. Wait, you know Mr. Misham? I met him once, in court. It was a brief meeting, but one I'll remember for the rest of my life. Now that's a story right there, that is. I smell a scoop. Ex-attorney now down on his luck, piano's place, you know, a sorrow, end quote. I'm all ears, let's have it, don't hold anything back. <sighs> Could you at least get rid of the down on his luck part? Let's take a closer look at that desk. This frame looks even smaller sitting next to that photo. Just the right size for a commemorative stamp indeed. A commemorative stamp put there by a daughter that killed her father. Sometimes life just sucks. Yeah, ain't that the truth. A picture of a young Mr. Misham and a very young Vera. They're smiling. They look happy. Of course, now Mr. Misham's passed away. And Vera's on death doorstep in the hospital. Guess I'll just do what I can and hope it's enough. Objection! An objection? I just... <laughs> I just had to do that when I see this pose. I can't believe it's been seven years. I have to stop torturing myself with these things. I know, I'll just pretend it's saying something else. The post office? Why, it's right over there. Good day, sir. <laughs> that was awesome. This envelope's from the client who requested that forgery. Just think, if that had gotten lost in the mail, 
I'd still be wearing my attorney's badge. That's an odd assortment of equipment to find in a painter's studio. Of course, it makes more sense when you know they were making forgeries. I guess that's why they never took visitors here. Wouldn't really want people seeing all this. Yes, in fact, I was the first human being ever to set foot inside this studio. Er, other than Mr. Bisham, of course. Oh, and Farrah, too. And this is assuming that I'm human, of course. I'm beginning- I'm beginning to have my doubts. Indeed. A drafting table, probably for making detailed designs for forgeries. You know what I think about that? I'll tell you! Painting should be done freehand, no fools, no restrictions! You really think a line drawn by ruler is going to move anyone? I smell a letter to the editor! Could you write an article with a ruler, end quote? Unless you wanted a ruler to write the address on your black mail letter straight! That's what I think! You can quote me on it too! Uh, you could drop this guy on a desert island and he wouldn't get bored. Look at all the jars of paints and pigments. Why are there so many jars of the same color? My gosh, is they are sorted by age! Age? When you're making a forgery, it's important to match the age of the original, you see? Paint compositions change a lot over the years. Oh, right, that's really clever. Did you learn that in journalism school? Journalists relies on writing skill and imagination, end quote. As long as you don't do news stories by imagination. Either that, or they just bought a lot of the same color by mistake. I find myself not caring anymore. That's really clever, though. It really is. Okay, um... Uh, present? Mr. Bushel, could you take a look at this? Ah, I hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. So, you want me to write an article on that, right? What's the angle? Actually, no, that's okay. I don't need an article. I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on this. I hear you. I hear you. You want me to sniff around for a scoop while you come to the right nose, my friend. <sighs> it's odorless. Uh, thanks. Okay, that was less than informative. Well, at least we know what the, uh, the fail state is. Just gotta go through it all. Like I said, thankfully, now that you can hit circle, or now that I remember to hit circle, it's a little bit easier. There's still so much, though, that I don't know. What does Magnify's chart look like? Um... So the only clue I can see of note here is he has chronic diabetes, which requires regular insulin. That does not help me. That does not help me. Malignant tumor found. So he had chronic diabetes and he had a malignant tumor. I'm just trying to reassociate myself with the evidence here. Now it uses to manipulate the time of death, washed it, and left the scene, which is why it shows no sign of use. Nothing with the gun? Yeah, there is. If you look closely, you can see how the pistol bends. Oh, 
would be nice if I knew if there was... If, if I had all the pistols. Because I bet you one of them shot straight. The one that hit her. I already read that. I know what that says. Aww. It's just a still image of them. So adorable. Oh, here we go. Mr. Bushel, do you know this person? Do I know that person? Of course. I was friends with Zack after all. He hit me a few times, five times actually. But still, I never forget his wife. The loss of Grammarie. Magnified Grammarie's only daughter. Do you think you could tell me more about her? Well, why the heck not? Okay, that's cool. We got information on, on her. Open this again. Is this open? This opens, right? Like a little clasp or something? Right here. A little clasp. And this is just a picture of Thalassa, right? So this is Tracy's mother, Thalassa. She's pretty. I can picture her on stage with Zach. Still, she looks like a down to earth type too. I guess Tracy takes after her. What is that? Can I zoom in? What is that? What is that flash? Hmm. I don't know if that's important. What is that? What is... I, I can't zoom any hard more. It's really hard to see. But that right there... Is that Apollo's bracelet? I mean, like I said, it's really hard to see because of the edge. They're, they're like the same color. But I can see like these little divots right here. The ring. Remember back there was that, um, that previous, uh, Cyclock where I was saying I need Apollo's bracelet. What if this is what I'm supposed to show? I mean, that's really hard to see, though. I, That can't be it, can it? I mean, I was so focused on this that I studied this pic. I mean... May... It, it's... I'll have to remember to try. It, it, it's a long shot, but... I'll, I'll have to go back after I'm talking to Marshall here. Maybe, uh... Maybe that is... The thing I needed because if the last is wearing it then that shows the connection between the last and Apollo right because then Apollo would have the thing that the lasso wore which connects the two of them uh, family of fortress we'll, we'll go through it afterwards maybe the lasso will tell me more here I mean maybe he'll tell me more at the last here it was tragic what happened to Drew Misham and his daughter Forgery is a serious crime, and they paid the price. You know what really did them in though, don't you? Yes, a forged diary page. The night I interviewed him, I found out something about Mr. Bisham I hadn't known. What's that? You know, he always felt like he was being watched every day for seven years, whilst have ears, potatoes, have eyes, end quote. Being watched. You mean he felt guilty? No, no, I'm talking about Felix here. Huh? You know, I felt watched too. The whole time I've been on this case, no less. Journalist gets tingling sensation on back of neck, freaks out, end quote. Because you felt guilty? 
Why would I feel guilty? You felt like you were being watched, huh? I wonder what it all means. Paranoia. To Miss Sham felt like he was being watched. And you along with him. You sure it wasn't just nerves? Nerves? No, it's nothing so mundane. I stopped paying attention to my nerves a long time ago. But I felt it too. General sure he is being watched, end quote. Don't you wonder why Zach Remory got bumped out after seven years? Right after coming into contact with me? Huh? He completely vanishes from that courtroom. Then, for seven years, he talks to no one, not a soul. Then, just as the remaining time was almost up, he contacts me in order to have this made. And, and then, he dies. Sorry to put the pieces together, aren't we? And you were being watched this whole time. Maybe not just me, maybe you were too. But me? Huh. Zack. I met Zack through that case, actually. You mean the shooting of Magnified Grimmery? No, before that, it's not widely known. You mean the accident during the quick draw shooting practice? My, 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 you're well informed. You should have seen me back then. I dug up quite the scope. I wanted it all. Money, fame, woman, even a little puppy, all for me. <laughs> I was younger then, and my days and nights smelled a fresher mint than they do now. Valak Grimmery did mention one particularly nosy reporter. In fact, I was on close picking terms with Magnified Grimmery at the time. I knew his daughter too, of course. The lasso was it. Really? Then the lasso disappeared quite suddenly at that. And Magnified wouldn't say a word about it. Yeah, my evil habit got the better of me. Journalist catches scent of a scoop goes on feeding frenzy, end quote. I set up one-on-one -on -one interview with the lass's husband, see? Zach Grimmery. Something strange was in the air over at Troop Grimmery on those days. The whole screwy mentors controlling disciples scene started by then, I'm guessing. The lassa, she was part of it all, right? Come on, you can't tell me off the record. Sorry. I don't know. Anyway, I kept crying and eventually became friends with Zack. Sure, he punched me once or twice or maybe five times. <laughs> but over time, he came to see me as his confidant. Valent. He's been waiting this whole time, seven years, eh? Waiting? For his big comeback, of course. A big revival of the magnified miracle. Of course, it was all a dream. Because of this, the performance rights. And the absence of any official documents, it was golden. Who's to say the old man didn't give his rights to both Zack and Valent? So Valent waited until Zack died, legally at least. The time finally comes and Valent's like a kid on Christmas morning. He's getting ready for a show at the Sunshine Coliseum, you know. And that document sees the legal light of day. It's going to put a bit of damper on the big show. He's a sorry one, that phallic grammary. Lost out to his partner at work and in love too. Love? It's the same old story, really. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that he probably loved the Lhasa. Two disciples and the mentor's only daughter. What has three sides and all of them pointy a love triangle? Hmm, that is pretty classic. When you're in a performing troupe, that's your world. It's like family. One with an entire high school's worth of drama, intrigue, and backstabbing. And in the middle of all this, the Lhasa has Trucy. And then she dies. I need to find out more about this the Lhasa. So, the Lhasa married Zack and had Trucy, you see? It was her second marriage, actually. You mean she was divorced? I hadn't heard this one before. Not quite. Her late husband was a performer, too. Apparently, he died during some gig. Tragic, really. They had only been married one year. I didn't know. Ah, but she was a beauty. I still carry a portrait photo of her around, you know. <gasps> there. There, she's wearing the bracelets. She is wearing bracelets. Oh my gosh. That is what she's wearing.
yeah, you can see it. You can see it more clearly now that you know it's there. She's definitely wearing those bracelets. But that's probably not the answer I was looking for because even though she's wearing a bracelet, that picture is what I need. I need that picture. Can you give me that picture, please? I know Tracy's history was a little thing too. She got the better deal, really. She's got you for family after all. Huh? What do you mean? Just reminiscing, you know. The Lhasa has another child beside Trucy, end quote. Ha ah, Apollo and Trucy are brother and sister. How about that? What? But, but Trucy said she was an only child. Was it from her first marriage? Ah, ah, yes, that's what she had with her previous husband. Yep, so, uh, half brother and sister. Her previous husband? Her first, hu her first husband who died during a performance? Yep, they had themselves a kid. Another orphan now. That's another one who slipped through the cracks. No idea where they are now. The last I had another child. Do you think I could borrow that photo, please? Sure, I can be generous on occasion, you know. God, I finally got this photo. Good. I won't need this locket anymore. Better return Trucy before I forget. People and events all get tangled together and get bigger and bigger. -er. <laughs> Don't you think? I was too busy wondering about bigger and less of what you were saying. Sometimes you just gotta accept that you won't be able to untangle it all, I think. Maybe so, but still. I have to do what I can. And I have to tell what I find to those who come next. Next, do you say? I'm not the one who will close the curtain on this little play. Apparently, that's not my role anymore. Magnify! Huh? I was just wondering what Magnify would think of all of this. What do you mean? Haven't you seen it in Trucy? She's got his power. You mean, how I can't lie to Trucy? It was the same with Magnify. And with his daughter, the Lassa. It's a strange thing. You think it's some grammary gene? Magnify told me once back when Zack married the Lhasa. He said Zack had good eyes. But not good like a grammary's eyes, not that good. I wonder if Zack ever played a game of poker with his wife. Who knows what the grammary's secret was. Maybe nobody, now that Zack's gone. Zack Grammary. The plot had finally begun to reveal itself. Sprouted from a warp in the Grammary fabric and grew, swallowing everything, strapping itself around the Grammary's power. A power which passed from magnified Grammary to Thalassa to the next generation, and I would once again need to meet the one who bridged it all together. Alright, well, we know where we're going next! Or Spoil Club. Because now... Now we have it. We have the bracelet. We have the ring. Um... I always forget which one's which. Is it this one? Yes. And then it's Apollo. And then it's going to be the picture. But no one has connected yet that Lamoror is the Lassa. What the Lassa is Lamoror. Trucy's mom is still alive. Apollo's mom is still alive. Um. My mind was on, uh, the Lassa, so I didn't... I almost clicked the wrong thing just because of that. This is a one more lock. Actually, I know something. Your marriage to the Lassa was her second. How did you know this? Her first husband. He died a year after they were wed, yes? Heh. He, he was a performer. They met when he joined us Grimmeries as a guest in our show. 
After the last wed him, she left the troop for a while. And you say she had a child then? I have a photograph of her here. I couldn't help but notice what, what she was wearing when I first saw this. These bracelets stand out. They are a Grimly family heirloom. This boy wears a bracelet just like the ones in the picture. What? So, that's why. Why what, Mr. Zack? I took this photograph of Thalassa before she left us. When she returned, she only had one bracelet? She wore only one bracelet. Yep. I bet I know where that other one went. She gave it to this boy. Her son. Oh, excellent! I thought I still had one more to break. Unlock successful. Fantastic. We're making progress here. I mean, we're off to a really rough start at the beginning, but we're making progress. The Grand Reef Secret. This strange power. I myself do not know where it, from where it comes. Yet the fact is that it is passed down from the Grammary line. It runs in their veins. What is it? I asked her the lasso once. This is what she told me. Her power responds to tension in others. Tension? If she were to face a person and they became tense even slightly, then she would know no matter how hard they tried to hide it from her. So she could see it. Not quite. This is the strangest part of all. She wouldn't realize that she was subconsciously detecting this tension. Without the use of a particular object, or in this case, objects. Objects? Wait, were they something she wore? Yes. Her bracelets. I admit the first time I saw one of those, I felt that there was more to it than just passion. But what kind of power could a bracelet have? I have made a decision. I will tell you all I know, consider it a gift. And let's not forget, this was before the first trial, right? So, when Phoenix said that Apollo had a power, he already knew all of this. This is the type of game that I bet you anything if you played this game again, unlike a lot of the other Ace Attorneys, you'd probably pick up on a whole lot of stuff that you didn't see. Trucy and Apollo. Well, I hardly need you to tell me at this point, but these two. A brother and sister, yes. And the brother, too, has his power theirs. So, Trucy has an older brother. I wonder what will come of that. Maybe that's why Phoenix tracked down Apollo. Huh? Mr. Wright, tonight, after our game is done, I will return to a life of hiding. Maybe that's why he called Kristoff, because he knew... Okay, that's just getting even more 4D chess. I, I don't know. <sighs> I will not see her live her life without knowing. I understand. I'll tell the two of them when the time is right. I am in your debt once again. No kidding. What I want to know is how all this got to be so messed up. The bracelets. Those bracelets are made of a special alloy. It is said to expand the shrink very slightly in response to body warmth. So they're temperature sensitive or something? Yes. This is how they could shrink to the exact size of the wearer's wrist. That's cool. And this has something to do with the power. What have I told you? The Grimory power reacts to tension in others. When a Grimory sets attention, they too become tense. And this tension translates into minute contractions of the muscles. So minute, they cannot sense it on their own. Their muscles? Oh, so that's what the bracelets are for. With the bracelet on, one can sense these contractions. Because the bracelet is always a perfect fit. Huh, so when the person they're watching gets tense, the bracelet feels tighter on the wrist. That's why they get that feeling. Precisely. But that alone doesn't really count as mind reading. I believe I understand how the plastics works from here. It's a simple question of eyesight. Eyesight? I guess that sounds simple enough. Have you ever heard of have you ever heard of kinetic vision? Something about the ability to see moving objects with full clarity, right? Never heard of that. I've heard of it before. They say athletes can see a moving ball like it was stopped if they focus. Huh. Oh, but it's not confined to sports alone. It all relies on the ability to focus. When we focus, we can see many things. 
The fated switch in the face, and the meaning that lies behind it. Huh? Therein lies one of the secrets of magic. One must know the mind of a crowd before one may distract it. So basically, what you're saying is, the Grammaries can see really well. For them, seeing is more than believing, it is knowing. Their power relies on eyesight combined with exceptional focus. Things are starting to come into focus for me too. Of course, it is difficult to maintain such levels of focus for any length of time. But, what if someone could tell you when to focus? Or something? Precisely. But wait, Trucy doesn't have any bracelets. You are talking about poker, yes? The timing of when to focus is so elementary, she probably does it without thinking. Huh? I doubt Trucy herself has realized this. That is all I know of the things Grand Marie. Thank you, Mr. Zack. If this voice bracelet is a real thing, then he will use it before long. Thereby awakening his power. I'll keep that in mind. Well, shall we play a game? Ah, I have said so much. Let me say one more thing. I will tell you that night. That night? That night, my mentor, Magnified Grammarie, passed from this world to the next. Huh? There were two pistols and two letter saints. This was Magnify's test. A uh, test? In his last years, Magnify Grammarie worked us to the bone. No, to the pain. But that night, I could not shoot him. So I shot the clown's forehead and said... This, it seems, was the correct answer. Take this. I give my art to you, Zack. What? It is thanks for playing along with my show. You shot well tonight, Zack. Though I would not have minded dying by your hand. How could I shoot you? How could I shoot you? You're my mentor. Oh my god, this is exactly like Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, this is literally Yu Yu Hakusho right now. This is amazing. I love it. Don't forget, that's my favorite anime, so. Bah! I thought you might say that. If I went home without shooting anything, what would you have done then? Well, then, of course, I would have given Valiant his chance. And if I had, shot you in the forehead instead. Well, then it would be over. If you or Valiant were to shoot me in the head, well, then I to the darkness would go and my art with me. A fitting end, don't you think? Ah. Yet this ending, too, gives me no cause for regret. I thank you, Zack. And I am sorry. I have done much wrong. I have done much that was wrong in my day. To me, it seems that Magnify wants you to be his successor all along. That's why the time he gave you was earlier than Valance. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point because if he had. If he had, um, if Valent had come first, uh, and not shot, then Valent would have been the, the one who won the secrets. So, but if he had shot Magnify, then Valent would have gotten the secrets, I imagine, right? Perhaps, but this is not something we'll ever know for sure. I wonder, where is Valent up to these days? Waiting for you to die. If seven years pass like this, the performance rights go to him. Ah, and now here I am and his dream has ended. It's worse than that, actually. Public opinion's a fickle thing, you know. What? You don't mean to tell me they put the blame for Mentor's death on him? The trial ended when you vanished, Mr. Zack. There were even rumors that Valent had helped to pull it off. But that's madness! Ha, huh. well. It seems that before I can once again disappear from this world, I have one more act to perform. Huh? Isn't it odd that sorting out my life should be so complicated? Even though I'm dead. That night, Zach Grammarie was killed. He died as Shady Smith, a mysterious traveler with his secret past. But he left one thing behind before he parted. This. 
The Hummet may concern. Seven years past, Isaac Grammary murdered my mentor, Magnify Grammary. I apologize for the trouble caused by sudden departure from court and hereby confess to my crime, Isaac Grammary. But why would he leave that behind? He didn't murder his mentor. His confession to use as I saw fit. Of course, he killed no one. This was his way of tying up loose ends with his old partner, Valent Grammary. A trap, perhaps? Zach's confession added to the court record. Yeah, maybe I can use that as a trap. Possibly. Play my own trap, right? All right, my friends. Well, my name is The Flatless Bird. This is your Story Beats Gaming channel, and this has been quite a run of episodes. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to head to the Sunshine Coliseum before we go anywhere else. Um, but, yeah, th there's... It's all coming together. I love it. I think it's great. Wonderful, wonderful storytelling. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.